Um, just a little bit of explanation before we get into this week's episode. You will notice that parts of it look like they're filmed in Bangor because parts of it were filmed in Bangor and parts of it were done here in Carrick. The reason for it is very, very simple. It takes us ages to get things done. So we're not zooming back and forward across Belfast Loch. We did some of this in Bangor. We've done some of this in Carrick and this is the compilation of all the little bits coming together at long last. So. With all that, let's get straight into this week's little video of how we received a whole pile of bits and bobs and put it to very good use. So what have you found, Gainer? A whole load of goodies! Just on the... Um, Hang on. Yeah. Go just on. up here in the uh, cockpit. Um, I think um, one of our subscribers must like us. It's the only thing I can think of. Why else leave random stuff stuff on people's boats? But useful stuff. Well, I hope it'll be useful stuff, but we'll see. It's a bit damp from the weather, but we'll leave it in there to dry out for a bit. Well, we suspect we know who's given us this package and we'll be looking through it a bit later. We've got a few tasks to do first this morning. Um, we've talked to somebody who's given us a few things before and he just doesn't particularly want his name all over YouTube and some people are like that they just don't want to be all over the place whereas we're quite happy so um, I'll just say if it's from you and we'll just call we'll just call that nice person Mr K um, thank you very very much and if it wasn't you thank you whoever it was but um, it's going to be exciting going through it all to see what's in there well in addition to the bag I also found some small bits of wood and some pretty hefty stainless steel pipe so um, we could probably use those for some kind of projects but let's see what's in the um, bag so I'm just going to see what's in this bag of goodies oh my goodness I was just wanting some flex so um, I don't I seriously don't need any flex anymore. So that's good. That's two core cable, is it? Uh, it looks like two core cable, but for the lighting that we want to do, Bev, that's going to be more than adequate. Right. Uh, so that job's already done. Um, some silver tape. Ooh. A uh, has vet uh, a Tyvek suit. Tyvek suit. Yeah. Always useful. Ooh, some red cable ties. Ooh, sexy. Oh yeah. Oh, and some yellow table ties. We're going to be really. <laughs> Not too sure what this is. Oh. A light. LED strip light. It does look like an LED strip light. Well, I could definitely use that somewhere about here on the boat. Cleaning rags or a Tyvek suit? Um, it's a used Tyvek suit. It's a, I think it's a used uh, dust sheet, to be truthful. All right. Um, so, could be used for something. Yeah, a dust sheet. A dust sheet or something. Masking tape. Yeah. Well, I've definitely got a job for that. That today. Yeah. More tape. More tape. More tape, just in case we're short of tape. Cleaner lube. Uh, protective lubricant. Right. So this is um, a can of protective lubricant. Can uh, use that somewhere. More tape. tape. More tape, right. So we've got Somebody's raided the local tape warehouse. <laughs> and the local cable <laughs> tape warehouse. <laughs> Think of all the prisoners we can take aboard. Zip zip. <laughs> so um obviously people have uh, somebody's been very generous giving this to um, to us. So if you do want some cable ties we can only be generous back to somebody else. Oh my lord! <laughs> 
some shackles. If you did serious want, looking. If we wanted to tr um, uh, replace the anchor shackle. It might do, yeah. It might be a bit too big though for the windlass, but we'll look at it and see. I tell you now, that's going to be a hefty, uh, hefty shackle for that. Last bit of tape. I always wanted a collection of tapes. Oh my goodness. An anchor swivel. Anchor swivel. And we were just discussing... About anchor swivels. Anchor swivels. So we've actually got another anchor swivel. We'll have a look at that one. Definitely. Once again, would it fit the chain? It's a big thing. Yeah. And then the last thing, which I probably won't use, but... Two bits of pipe. Right. Uh, they're the only thing that I might not use. But other than that, I think I can use quite a lot of this. Good. So what I've done is um, I've uh, bought some ends, which are going to go on here. And um, I'm basically going to just fix the um, solar arch. The Dyneema that Beverly put in has done a great job. But I just feel that since I've got these uh, metal poles, I might as well swap them for... Um, this metal. Well, I thought uh, it was just going to be a nice simple job. But as with all simple jobs, there's always something you've got to do first. And the first thing I've got to do is clean my chrome work. Well, look, my subscriber has given us a whole load of handy cloths. So, what are you going to clean it with? Um, I found some um, spotless stain cleaner uh, from our previous uh, owner. So. Um, that's what I'm going to use. Right, well I'll just tell you now, because I'm reading it and you're not, that says brush on, rinse off. Okay. <laughs> so I've got to brush on first. I suspect it's acidic. Probably, but I've got to clean it up. All right. Uh, well, despite the um, chrome cleaner needing to be at 20 degrees and it being about Ten. two, Ten. Oh, it's ten. Uh, it did actually work, so um, I'm happy about that. But I'm doing one of the, the pipes at, one at a time because from painful experience, cutting them exactly the same length will just lead to a world of pain later. Yeah, I can have it a little longer, but I basically need to cut there. Mark that one as uh, port. So that's P. Just in case. P for port. So uh, I best put it on here actually because um, I'll cut yeah, that. Don't put it on the bit you're going to throw away. <laughs> yeah. That would not be an active genius. No, it would not. So um, I've got that. Um, I'm going to do mark up the next one and then uh, I've actually got to uh, cut this pipe to size. Oh, did him. So you've got to play with an angle grinder. Yeah, but I'm sure I can cope. Well, show off your acrobatic self. <laughs> it has it has improved my acrobatic self, but um, it just shows you why you should always measure um, each side. This is my port side, and that's my starboard. They started the same length, but just because the sh the thing's not symmetrical, um, I'd have got into right diffs if I'd have measured those. Yeah, obviously when we've done the cross braces, we haven't put them in exactly the same positions. Exactly, so always measure it thing. Always have some spare grub screws, because one of my grub screws went for a wander. Uh, but that's there, Moon. Just got to do that grub screw up there, which is what I'm saying. Uh, but um, now I've got to do is remove Beverly's uh, Dyneema. Well, I'm um, going to be using the um, bit of wood and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making a wooden box and um, this is what's going to be in our wooden box uh, so that we can have our power, uh, a couple of extra uh, power sockets are on the boat um, and that way we won't have to drill any more holes in poor old salty lap. I've got my circular saw set up on a 45 degree angle 
so that I can cut wood at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> I know that seems kind of obvious, but it's just the way it is. Because what we're doing is we're cutting 45 degree diagonals so that we can cut corner pieces and put them together. It'll all become clear. Well, first things first, ready to go. Well, these are our little bits. I haven't got them in place yet, but uh, there they are. Um, and I think the job is going to look good once I've sorted it. So I finally managed to um, stick my little bits of wood, which I did in banger together, varnish them all up. And now you can see that this is going to be our electrical socket. Um, looks a lot nicer than a white placky box. Um, and hopefully you'll see this in a future episode when we finally <laughs> get round to doing the AC electrical circuit, which will probably be next year now we know. <laughs> well, if you're ever um, plumbing, uh, putting in more cables into your boat, I would highly recommend having a good piece of reasonable plastic because it just makes mousing so much easier. We put this bit of plastic through the boat and um, we then put the wire in afterwards. We just attach it and it's just so much easier. That's two one metre giant cable ties. Yeah, which... <laughs> which we snipped the cable tie bit off and just glued them together in the middle. Yeah, but um, at least I found a use for the uh, big massive cable ties that the previous owner left us, uh, rather than say um, bondage, which is what I was thinking of. <laughs> I think that one's for the cutting room floor. <laughs> Look at that, a little bit of mood lighting. Do you want me to turn it off? Um, no, I'll do it here in the uh, cabin, which is where you want it. Oh, yeah. And it's on again. Oh, yeah. And it's on again. <laughs> anyway, this is um, uh, that uh, light that the uh, guy gave us. Uh, it's just created some mood lighting. 